Thank you for listening to Utah Public Radio. Up next, it's our weekly movie review. Here's our film critic, Casey T. Allen. I just watched the new film, The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, and I have a few concerns. First of all, the title is way too long. With 12 syllables, I don't know anyone in my life who would even listen to me long enough to say that title out loud. Director and screenwriter Guy Ritchie has made a platform for himself making lightly comedic male ensemble action films, from The Gentleman in 2019 to The Man from Uncle in 2015. But his latest film does not inject any new life or energy into the historical action subgenre. This film is adapted from the 2015 non-fiction book by Damian Lewis called The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, How Churchill's Secret Warriors Set Europe Ablaze and Gave Birth to Modern Black Ops. Honestly, that's the entire title. British author Damian Lewis also wrote the 2014 nonfiction book, Churchill's Secret Warriors, the explosive true story of the special forces desperados of World War II. Actor Henry Cavill leads a group of convicted criminals on a sailing trip from London to an island off the west coast of Africa in the 1940s to blow up a Nazi ship, keeping the Atlantic Ocean mainly under Hitler's control. But these criminals have to avoid crossing paths with other British fighters, or else their secret mission will be exposed. Trying to combine the urbane, sexy attitudes of Mission Impossible, The Suicide Squad, and James Bond films makes this exotic, clandestine adventure feel like a team of high school football players desperately trying to be serious. All the masculine, handsome main characters are too cool for school, so none of them look like they're having any fun, and none of them are different from each other. The only distinguishing difference between the team is what kind of violent talents they have. One is good with a bow and arrow, one is good with explosives, one is good with navigating and ship driving, and I can't remember the rest. Even the action-packed finale is edited so shoddily, with so many brief moments in the dark, the only thoughts I kept thinking were, huh? And, what, what was that? What just happened? The ample scenes of gunshots, explosions, and stabbing bring some exciting moments to this film, but the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare is filled with people who are not trying hard enough at all to give viewers something new, personal, or interesting. For Flix at 48, I'm KCT Allen.